What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pack Attack here. This is going to be the episode that was going to be as that's going to be uploaded right after the, the last one. Last one was a disaster and I totally understand if you don't even want to watch it because it was so bad. Um, the audio is just destroyed and it was just a terrible episode but I had to, to I had to upload it so you guys are getting two Pack Attacks today and if you guys didn't want to watch the last one, in the last one we did get a Sam Gagne, we got a Steve Ott, a Yannick Hansen, a Matt Stajan and a new goaltender in Roberto. Lowongo. So our defense hasn't changed at all actually. We just got a bunch of new forwards which is fine. I, I'm not complaining about that at all and uh, we did get no new defensemen. We did get Roberto Lowongo here. So as you can see there's going to be no face cam and I'm going to do that because it's for the simple fact that my webcam on my laptop is absolutely terrible and uh, once I'm going to get an, uh, an Elgato and a new webcam probably in the next three weeks. Two to three weeks so uh, maybe the next four to five pack tech episodes are going to have no face cam but there will be the return of the face cam to even worry uh it's just that it's impossible to sync it just it's not a very good webcam at all it just sucks so i apologize for the lack of face cam but i'm still going to do the live audio and uh it's still going to be awesome because pack tech is so much fun so as you can see here we had the fan appreciation week from ea and we have two free special packs so i'm going to go ahead and open them right now since this is a free pack i'm not going to count it towards um towards the pack tech itself we're on a four game winning streak so the next uh so the next win we get maybe we'll be in this episode we have to get a special pack and i believe a special pack will be out tomorrow on Wednesday. So let's open up these two free packs here. We're going to go with Nazem Kadri. I've seen some people get some nasty, nasty stuff. There is a Latang Hut live out right now. And the first pack gives us, ooh, Tyler Sagan. Oh, Tyler Sagan. That is going to help us so much. Oh man, okay, so we got a lot of good players here. So anyone going to play on our team? These three guys are not. Dougie Hamilton definitely will. Thank God. Oh my goodness, some defensemen. Uh, unfortunately, George Peros is not going to play on the team. A Awesome defenseman there in Yanni Pick, and then thank God another one in Yosef and Kindle there, and Tyler Sagan. Usually people would say that is a bad pack because because of uh, you know the hot lives out or whatever, but still I um, I am super super stoked on that. I guess we'll take that, and I guess we'll chuck the. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use jerseys from. Um, I'm going to use jerseys from packs because I feel like playing with these P jerseys are going to get boring after a while. So each pack that we open, I'm going to choose the jerseys from there and whatever logo we get, we're just going to use them because we're going to be opening a lot of packs. So might as well go after some cool jerseys and some cool logos. So uh, we're going to make this Pittsburgh Penguins one our home jersey and we're going to make, let's go with the Chicago one. There we go. So we're going to go Pittsburgh and Chicago there and we're going to discard the rest of this. So let's get on to the next pack and then I will show you guys as a team and they were gonna get into some gameplay probably about three episodes or three games in this in this episode we have one more pack here before I look at the pack I will show you guys a team of the week because it is downright nasty um, actually no it's actually not this team of the week sucks but there's a couple pretty good players here Hedman Latang uh, Koivu I'm really I'm just used to the team of the weeks just being unreal but uh, that's it that's it for the for the team of the weeks and uh, Andreas Limbach and John Gibson so I mean I wouldn't be opposed to getting any of these players obviously they would help our team tremendously but uh, we got one more pack here and I'm hoping for a hut live baby come on the first hut live in pack attack let's not go with the Henrik let's go with the Datsuk well, let's go with the Datsuk I'm gonna go till I find the Datsuk because I got a good feeling about Pavel Okay, so I've been searching for about 10 minutes and I cannot find Pavel Datsuk, so we're gonna go with a Carey Price here. Let's go, Carey. Give me that hut live. Give me the hut live Latang, that stud defenseman that we need. Come on, the pack is opening. Oh, holy fuck, Zach Parise! Holy shit! <laughs> no way we didn't pull the Zach Parise. Oh my god, that sucks that we can't sell him, but there's our new first line left winger. Oh my god, Zach Parise, Wayne Simmons, Sean Horkoff, no defenseman, but oh my god. Woo, that is a sick, 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 sick pull. And we're going to use this logo because the first logo that we have pulled. And a righty to lefty. Oh my god, Zach Parise, baby. What a pull. What a card, Zach 
Parise. 83, but you cannot. <laughs> he's worth 83k, but you cannot sell him. So he is going to go on the team for sure. So is the Wayne Train. And I guess Horkoff. We will see if anyone. There's no defenseman, right? Tenorti, he's not going to make the team. So the rest is going to be a discard. But oh my god, that is unreal. So I'm going to get this team. Okay guys, so here is the updated team. This is a nasty team. Only being on episode number four, wherever we are, three, uh, this is a sick team. That Parise just made this whole thing just, oh my god, unreal. So we got Parise, uh, Tyler Sagan here, and then Brad Boys. I was going to put Brad Boys on the second line, but then I saw that Wayne Simmons had the, had the change team to the Flyers, so I put him on this line just for chemistry reasons with Palat. So uh, that's going to be the first line right there. This is the second line there the third line there just nasty I mean I could move Gagne down to the third line yeah I'm actually gonna do that he was put Gagne down on the third line and have like 99 chemistry oh what is going on what is going on you see that car what the hell okay so let's get back into here <laughs> this is weird uh, there it is though uh, the second line is gonna consist of that oh my goodness 99 chemistry there and uh, I am so stoked to use this team this looks like a uh, this looks like a team that can win some games and do some damage for for sure and then on the defense here we have Yanni Pikkinen and Carl Gunnarsson there so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use that lefty to right D on Yanni Pikkinen so he is on the correct position and I'll make the chemistry go up a little bit I uh, want we, we, we want to use everything that we can pull to our advantage here so Dougie Hamilton and Adam McQuaid they are both on Boston unfortunately they're on their wrong positions but still uh, they are going to be awesome so another thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out Aaron Pelushai for Nino Nino Rider. I know he's going to be playing on the on the off wing. Uh, we actually don't have a left wing to right wing. So he's going to be playing there because I love this card. He is a beast and Pelushai is going to get out of there. So there's everything else and let's hop into our first game now. We're about 10 minutes in and we haven't even gotten to a game yet. So this one may be a long episode. Okay, we're up against a guy with the Mighty Ducks name, and uh, he's got the Finnish logo, and I don't even know what our logo is. I have no idea what country that is, but Zach Parise, baby, let's get into the game. Okay, so we're on a four-game winning streak now. So I guess we've got Perry, he's got Getzlaff, and who's that on the right wing? Semin, I believe. So he's got a pretty good team here. Uh, we are on a four-game winning streak, so next game is going to... Oh, I like these jerseys a lot. Next game is going to be the special pack whenever it is out. Oh, what was that, Hamilton? There you go. Oh, how is he getting past the defense like that? There you go, Palat. Good defensive play. Man, these jerseys are so nice. Picking in. Oh, man, what a rocket. Oh, no. There, boy, Lou. Wayne Train, baby, go, Wayne Train. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Come on, Yannick. You great Dane. Oh, Yannick. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Lou, what a save. Okay, so after one, it is 0-0. Zero, zero, a very even game. We have much more time on attack. He's getting lots of shots. He's uh, he's one of the people who comes in right from the, the blue line is just wrists it in. But one thing, Luongo is playing good. He's making some very nice stops. So that is good news for us. Let's hop into the second. Again with the stops, Louie. Holy shit. Oh, Luongo, this guy is amazing. Oh my god, Palat, how do you miss that? Or is that boys? That was Brad Boys. How do you miss something like that, man? Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ, how are we fucking not getting these in? Gunnarsson! Oh, fucking John Gibson. Really? Man, both of our goalies right now are just playing out of this world. Oh, dirty moves from Parise. Oh, <laughs> I just probably shouldn't have done the second spinorama, but it looked pretty. Oh, Parise! Man, both of our goalies are just playing phenomenal right now. This game should be like... Five to four right now. There's no way our goalies are playing this good. 
Ah! <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. Oh man, what a dumb play by by him. And Yuri Hoodler makes him pay. Oh man, those duties are so nice. But uh, there we go. Yuri Hoodler, baby. What a bad play by him. He throws it out a lot though, so I will capitalize on that. I thought I was going to miss it. That's why I started to yell, but it just went top cheese there. Just get, got rid of it right there. Oh man, that almost, that almost missed. If I would have missed that, oh boy. <laughs> oh, that would have been sad news. Nina Ryder, oh! Jesus Christ! How is this goalie making these saves? End of the second period. It is one to nothing now on that terrible giveaway by him. But again, game super even. 15 to 14 are the shots, and uh, we got a little bit of time on attack, but still such an even game. Man, Yanni Picken is fast as hell too. One of the reasons why I really like pack attacks is I, is I, I get to use players that I haven't really used before, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Wayne Train, baby! Oh, no way! Dougie? Oh, <laughs> teach me how to Dougie. Oh, Parise with the one tease. No way! Three minutes left and Dion Phaneuf just claps one. Oh, fuck. Go RJ, you big bastard. Go. All right, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Slow it down. Slow it down. Back to the D. Second. To McQuaid. McQuaid gets rocked. Fuck. Going to OT. Oh, man. Both goalies just played amazing. Uh, 22 to 18 of the, sh the shots were so much more time on attack than him, but all it takes is one goal. If we lose this game, our five-game winning streak and our hopes at a special pack is all over. Let's go. Oh, Zach Parise! Five-game winning streak, baby. Let's go. Zach Parise, what a shot. Like the first shot of overtime. Just a cannon. So a five game winning streak now. Uh, like I said, unfortunately there's no special packs out. There is, but it is that free pack from EA. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one out tomorrow. But uh, let's go hop into another game here. And then uh, in the comments, you guys can tell me why I should do like a nine game winning streak or a 10 game winning streak or whatever. Uh, Cause it could happen. So let's hop into one more game here. So let's hop into, an so let's hop into another game here. Okay, so we're up against this guy with Duncan Keith as his best player, so it looks like he's got a pretty good team. Uh, I mean, if he has Duncan Keith, that's a pretty big card there. But uh, we are on a five-game winning streak, so we're going to try to keep it alive here. He's got the Rockford Ice Hogs logo. Let's go. Oh, yeah, he's got Zetterberg. Is that Taze? Yeah, Taze, and it's like that's Malkin. Oh, boy, we're going to have our work cut out for us for sure. And this guy is a terrible passer. I have intercepted like 90% of this guy's passes. He is either he's really stupid with the puck or he just doesn't pay attention. Get rocked, Sam Gagne. Oh, how's... Oh, Jesus. This is... This is stressful. Nino? Oh. Gotta get some better wood on that. Come on, boys. Oh, oh, Gretzky. Gotta intercept that. Come on. All right, so the first period now, 0-0. Zero to zero. We're definitely outplaying him. I'm pretty sure the time on attack's gonna be double, if not triple. I mean, we were just outplaying him the whole time. Pretty much played the whole time in his end. Uh, let's see what the stats say here. I mean, you know, we're actually not even that bad. 7-5. to five, uh, We're doubling his time on attack. I told you guys earlier about this guy's passing. Absolutely terrible. 37%. He just chucks it. He doesn't really pay attention. So uh, let's see if we can get some goals here in the second period. All right, dump and chase, boys. Dump and oh, dump and get absolutely destroyed by Dustin Bufflin is how that play is called now. All right, going to the power play here. We got to capitalize. Haven't lost a face off yet. We're six for six, seven for seven. That's how you do it. Oh, Dougie, come on. Man, Hamilton's gonna score one of these games. He has gotten so many chances. His goals will come. His goals will definitely come. Here it is, Dougie. 
Oh fuck, Tuggy. Man, one Hamilton score. That is gonna be. That's gonna be something. Under nine minutes left. Second period of action, and this game remains scoreless. Oh man, RJ Umberger with the hat. Hey, Steve Ott. There you go. That was all RJ Umberger, man. He had the puck for a good 15 seconds there, just dangling through everybody. And he finds Steve Ott wide open in the slot. That was all RJ Umberger, though. Oh man, where's the D, Weber? What are you doing? Why would you. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm going to moon you here. Let me point my ass at your face. Let's see how that works for you. Back of the net, baby. One nothing. Look at Dougie, just playing like a forward. I love this guy. Takes one for the team. We're going back on the power play. I don't know how that was a trip. He flat just laid him out. Oh, he wins his first face-off there. I think we're like 10-1 and one or something. Oh, Lou! Coming up huge. Man, Luongo's been playing amazing since I've been picked him up. Oh, no, time's going to run out. Oh, I didn't know how much time I had left. The freaking clock didn't show up. That wasn't very fair. Oh, I didn't see how much time I had left. I had tied like four seconds. I could have went in there. Oh, thanks, Rammer. What's that about? Oh, yeah, I've got a penalty there for hitting me after the whistle. Five on three now. But that is going to be the end of the second period. Still on the one nothing lead from our goal from Steve Ott. 16-10. Uh, to 10, We're definitely outplaying him, like, like completely. Uh, I think there's a reason why this guy has such a such a stacked team and he's in, like, Division like 6 or whatever this is. So, five on three for the next 14 seconds here. Oh, Tyler Sagan. There, oh, my God. How did he miss that? Wayne Simmons, what a feed. McQuaid, McQuaid, Zod, Zod. Oh, not working out. McQuaid! Ah! McQuaid gets his gets his revenge there. Oh nice. On a see he's very dumb with the puck. He chucks it out and he makes terrible choices. So I will take that all day. Adam McQuaid, uh, pretty much our best defenseman, just an easy little backhand there. And gets past Ben Scrivens. No, 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 no. Oh, they're so fast. Oh, ho, ho! Roberto Luongo. What a stop. Oh, my goodness. That was sick. It's taken by Simmons under pressure. Fires. Oh! Roberto Luongo. Larceny. Kick save. Unbelievable save by Luongo. Have you ever? Amazingly, it is still one to nothing. No, I don't think it's ice still. This guy is a terrible player. He does the same thing every single time. He's gonna try for a cross crease. Or, oh shit! Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he must be hearing me right now. Oh man. Okay, so we can't get too cocky here. He's got some good players. So uh, Wayne Gretzky there with a snipe. With this guy. He usually does the exact same thing. That's the first time he's taken a shot from the, from the slot. Usually he would go past the number 12 there, but he decides to put it on net. And it beats Roberto Luongo. So we're only, we're only up by one here. We need to get that insurance marker and get the routine in place. Oh, what? How did he save that? Come on, there's no way. That was some Luongo stuff. Palat, oh, Yuri Hoodler, not Palat, Yuri Hoodler, baby, without his lid, makes it 3-1. to one. There's the insurance marker we were looking for. There we go. No way. No way. Oh, that is a weird goal. What's going on there? Jonathan Tays. Oh, good thing we got that other goal, though. We're still up by, by one here. Eight minutes left. No, 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 no. Oh, Luongo, thank you. Come on, Palat. We need you. We might take out Palat as our captain, though. I don't know. It's going to be up to you guys. He was our first big pull, so kind of feel like we should keep him there. But uh, I don't know. Maybe put it on Parise. Maybe put it on a defenseman. Maybe put it on Dougie Hamilton. Dougie for captaincy. 
Oh, stop taking these penalties. Why do I think I'm a lumberjack? I just keep hacking them like crazy. This is a big penalty kill for us right now. That is three giant clears, this penalty kill for Dougie Hamilton. Oh, ho, ho, get out of here. Oh, and I can never pull off that one-handed windmill, no matter how hard I try. I can never do it. Even though it looks so sick, I can never do it. All right, he's pushing hard here for the uh, the tying goal. One minute left. Not happening. Not happening. Don't try those. Don't try those cross creatures on me. I'll block those all day. He's going back to Bufflin. Nope. Oh, Lou, the big save. Ah, God. <laughs> Go, Palat, one-handed windmill. Yep, there it is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh fuck! I can never do it. No matter how hard I try, can never get it done. Oh, Luongo flashing the leather. Not today. I am on a six-game winning streak, my friend. Make it six. Oh, get out of here. There you go. All right, we got this game in the bag for sure. He's just chucking it out now. He's doing that all game. Three seconds left. Oh, yeah, it's over. It's over. Lou, the big stop, and we get the victory. Three to two. Let's go open up another 875 pack. We're almost in division number six. Uh, pretty much domination throughout the whole game. Not too, not necessarily in the shot department, but in the time on attack and the passing percentage. He had 40% in passing. That is definitely the reason why he lost that game for sure. Um, pretty much pretty good there. So three to two was the final score. Let's get out of this and let's go open up a 875 pack after we check the three stars Teddy is Yuri Hoodler and Wayne Gretzky so surprisingly Yuri Hoodler has been playing pretty good uh, and that's really good news for us because uh, he is the second line centerman right now uh, alongside Palat and Wayne Train Wayne Train Simmons there so let's open up a 875k pack uh, another question I have for you guys so once I'm on these winning streaks, do I continue to open? Okay, so for example, we're on a special pack uh, streak right now, I, I guess we'll call it. So every game I win, do I open up a special pack um, in corresponding to my to my win? So if I win the one game, the five game winning streak, whatever, which equals to a, to a special pack, do I get to open up a, another special pack after the next win? Until I, until I lose, I go back to the 875k packs. And then if I win three in a row, I open up a 17k pack. Then the fourth win would be a 17k pack. The fifth would be a special pack, so on and so forth. Till I lose, until it resets. Kind of up to you guys. Uh, it would be a lot of pucks, but we can definitely spare it here. So we're just going to go with the 875k packs. You guys can let me know in the next episode. But we're going to go with a Pavel Datsuk here. I'm looking for another defenseman. And what are we going to pull? Abs. John Scott. John fucking Scott. The rule is I have to use a player no matter what. So I'm going to take John Scott and we're going to chuck him on the fourth line. Oh my goodness. 92 checking should actually just be a beast. But that is a crappy, crappy, crappy pack. Let's get that out of here. And then I will show John Scott on the fourth line. And then we're going to get into one last game here. Like I said, I'm going to get a three games in this episode. And then that is going to be it. So John Scott on the fourth line. All you Buffalo guys, love your John Scott, and all you Toronto Maple Leaf guys, hate him. We're going to get Nino Niederreiter out of there and go ahead and put, actually, yeah, we're going to do, yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, so we're going to put him on the fourth line where Nino, where Nino Niederreiter plays. 75 overall enforcer. Uh, that makes the chemistry decent there, but still, uh, John Scott on the fourth line. Let's go, John Scott. Six foot eight, two hundred and fifty-nine pounds of absolute pure muscle and pure. I don't even know. He is just a beast. So uh, we have yet to lose a game with Roberto Luongo. So this guy will not press A. I've literally been here. Oh, there he is. Finally. The second I've been there for like four minutes and I was just going to uh, get out of the game. But anyways, socks and sandals, a terrible combination. So let's see what kind of team this guy has. He's got Iraq. Is that Crosby? He's got Crosby. What the fuck? He's got Iraq, Crosby, and Perron? What? I was not expecting him to have a Crosby. That is weird. Dougie! Oh, second. 
Yeah, that's weird. He's probably got like a scrub team, but just plays with Crosby. That's kind of funny. Oh, Parise is gonzo. He is gonzo. Oh, who's gotten that Bishop, the big man? I would love to get a Ben Bishop for this, but Luongo's playing good. Dougie! Oh, one day, man, Dougie's going to score, and it's going to be a marvelous goal. <laughs> Look at him. He's, like, riding him. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was funny as fuck. Why are you dumping it, man? That's ice. What are you doing? I don't get it. So we still got Crosby out there. He's been on a five-minute shift. So it looks like this guy just plays the hell out of his Crosby. Which is fine. I'll take that. Like, they need to get off the ice, man. <laughs> Fuck, that was a bad move. That was a bad move. Bad move. Oh, wow. See, that's what he means. Crosby is tired, man. Get him off the ice. Didn't even change his defensive core, either. There we go. That's a goal. That's a goal. Yuri Huther. This guy's on fire, man. Huther. He's making a case to be our new captain. For sure. Yuri Huther, baby. So, it looks like, other than Crosby, he's really got nobody. What are you doing? Oh, he wants to fight. He's one of these guys. Oh, fighting is so dumb in this in this game. If you didn't know, you actually lose pucks in the end all thing when you actually end up fighting. So most of the time, I just put my controller down and let him beat the crap out of me. But I usually lose. I just don't fight at all. He can have the win. Bet that makes you feel good, buddy. Uh, there you go. It's usually the people who just get this game that really want to start the fight, so that's under understandable. But you actually lose pucks in the whole end-all scheme of things, so it's kind of pointless. This guy does not press A. He watches the replay of everything. We're playing one of those guys. We're playing one of them. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's motive is for gameplay. <laughs> just He's very, very strange to play against. Superb man! Oh. <laughs> Either this guy just got this game or he's trolling me. I have no clue. That is a five. Get him out of here. Is that a five? No. Yeah, but I don't know if he just got the game or if he's trolling me because he's just being stupid with the puck. This is all Dougie, baby. Oh, man. One day. He's going to score just the most beautiful goal. It's going to be like a Game 7 overtime winner. And that will be his time to shine. There we go. Oh, fuck. I'll get it. I'll get it. One day I'm going to score one just like that. And it's going to be with Dougie Hamilton. I swear. Go, Simmons. Go. Oh, I was trying to keep it with the backhand there. Damn it. Probably could have went backhand, forehand, and had an easy goal, but... Okay, so, it is now one to nothing for me after one period. This is a weird game. He really, uh, I don't know, like, when he's, in his, when he's in his end zone, he doesn't like to get it past the blue line. He just dumps it right back into his own zone. It's really strange, and it's really weird, and he watches every replay. Uh, I'm assuming he just got this game. Maybe, like, his brother gave him the Crosby or something. I have no clue, but kind of weird how he has a, a Crosby and his uh, other best player is Michael Delzato. But nice goal there from Yuri Hoodler. And uh, socks and sandals, SNS, and yeah, we're definitely. He's only got two shots the whole from period, so uh, I don't know. This guy's a weird player. <laughs> this is honestly turning into be the longest game of my whole life. I'm looking at the recording right now. It's already at like 12 minutes, and we're only in the first period because he watches every replay. Holy shit, John Scott is a tank. Look how big he is. Oh my god, I'm just gonna go run somebody right now. <laughs> Oh, John Scott doing what he does best. Uh, what a beast. He just looks like a T-Rex on skates. Like a T-Rex on steroids, on skates that can't skate at all. But wow, he's a beast. <laughs> Let's watch this replay. Uh, what a big, giant man John Scott is. Complete interference. <laughs> John Scott. 
John Scott is one guy I would not want to fuck with. He would make me cry, and that's just about it. Him and Todd Bertuzzi are two guys I would not fuck with. Alright, Sam Gagne. Recreate your eight points that you had against Chicago. Wayne Train. There you go. Wayne Simmons, baby, does a little dance. There you go. Wayne Train scoring his first goal with our team. He's in on both of the goals. He got an assist on the first one. And of course, we're going to watch this because he watches every replay. Nice. Absolutely perfect pass there from Sam Gagne. Through two defensemen. And uh, all the Wayne Train had to do there was tap it in for another shorthanded goal. Our second one of the game. Do not fuck with Dougie Hamilton. Oh, he wants to fuck with Dougie Hamilton. Johnny Oduya and Dougie Hamilton. See, this guy either just got the game or I don't know what his issue is. Fighting is so dumb. What's for dinner? Fists. Tons of fists. And he quits. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this guy. In the middle of a fight, he just quits. Only had two shots. Um, okay. Super, super, super weird game there. I guess let's open a pack and then end off the episode. One thing I do want to show you guys, though, is the guy that we, that we just played. Not this guy, but the last guy. This original Felipe guy actually messaged me. He said, good game, man. Got a lot of respect for you and your, and your channel on YouTube. You may not remember me, but I played you like a year ago, and you beat me, and I got mad. I sent you a couple of hate messages, and I just want to apologize for for that. Anyways, thanks for the game. I uh, actually respect how people messaged me after and, you know, apologize or whatever, but so that's pretty cool. Thank you, buddy. I definitely accept your apologies a long time ago. Water under the bridge. Don't even worry about it, but uh, great game, buddy, and hopefully you see this in uh, the video. You are now on YouTube, so I'm gonna message him off, uh, off screen here, and then we'll go open up another pack. Okay, time to open up that pack. And you know what? I'm actually thinking about keeping John Scott on our team. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe keep him on that fourth line there. But we're going to open up our last pack of the episode here. And it's going to give us... Oh my goodness, Cody Eakin and Martin Jones. Okay, so we got a new backup goalie in Martin Jones. That's not a terrible thing because, uh, I mean, what, who else do we have? N uh, Nikolai Habibullin at a 76 overall. So, I mean, it's not bad. Martin, jo Martin Jones isn't... Uh, isn't terrible. He's definitely going to be an upgrade. Cody Eakin is not going to play on the team. We did get a change team Chicago, though, so we will see if we can put anyone on our team there. Uh, we're going to take the contracts, and that is going to be it. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed this one with the no face cam. I know it's been a little bit weird without it, but I want to ask you guys a couple of questions. The first question I want to ask you guys uh, at the before the start of last game, I wanted to know what should we do for the winning streaks and how should packs coordinate. Maybe just type in the comments, be like, three game streak, this pack, four game streak, this pack, 10 game streak, this pack, a thousand streak, this pack, so on and so forth. Just so I want to get your guys' opinion on it and who do we vote for, assistants and for uh, assistant and captains and the captain of our team. Right now it's Andre Palat and uh, we have uh, Tyler Sagan as the other A. I'm thinking about putting the uh, the uh, another assistant on Yuri Hoodler, but uh, you guys can that, can, be, that can be left up to you guys. So we got John Scott here. He's going to stay on the team for right now. I have no clue how he has 82 skating that is crazy but uh john scott there and we do got a new backup goalie in martin jones who i don't think is going to see any ice because roberto luongo is just a monster we'll go quick check out the stats really quick and then i will end off the episode so um, this RJ Umberger does not count. He is, uh, I pulled one and I just discarded the one that I pulled. So I think he's got two goals or whatnot. But Hudler, six goals in seven games. Palat, four points. Uh, Boys has five points. Gunnarsson has five points. So it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, who really isn't producing? I mean, not, no one really. Tyler Sagan's got one assist. Kuhlman's got one goal. Prize's got one goal in three games. And John Scott just got the two penalty minutes there. But Hamilton, you will score once, buddy. I promise it'll be an amazing goal and it'll be beautiful. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and drop a like. And I will see you in the next episode.